Hey YouTube, I am the proud new owner of this uh, Milwaukee tool that they've just introduced into the market. I've been waiting on this for uh, some time now and I thought I'd give you a review. But before I do that, I just want to let everyone know that I'm not sponsored by Milwaukee in any way and they don't give me any encouragement to make the comments that I'm going to make. I'm a consumer of Milwaukee and have been for some time. I like their products. So I thought I'd just give you a review and see what I, what I, what I think. This product that I'm going to review today is the Milwaukee brand new Quick Lock Bristle Brush Attachment, product number 49-16-2741. And this goes and attaches to the power head Quick Lock system that they have with all uh, various different attachments, such as edging and uh, tree uh, chainsaw cutter, various other products that fit that same power source. So today what I thought I'd do is i review this and uh, let you uh, know my thoughts and feelings about this uh, and I also want to give a shout out to my new friends at Ohio Tool. Um, I did some product research and found that they were uh, going to be able to be first to market to sell this item. I worked with them and they were easy to work with, communicated and obviously delivered as said. So we'll get into this and uh, to save everyone some time I'm just going to do all the unboxing off camera and then I'll show you what we got. Okay, so what we have here is all the parts that were removed from the shipping and packaging. And uh, just going through these items here real quick. Uh, obviously a user manual and instructions on how to do the assembly. We have the guard. We have a couple of uh, supports that go on the inside. Hardware, the power source itself, the motor, and then the bristles that attach. Okay, so various uh, easy attachments that need to be assembled together. And you do that by taking the inner rod here with that pin and that hole, and it lines up with this shaft on the power source. You can see that there's a hole on the very end along that, that flattened edge of that power source. And making sure that that flat edge is aligned with this on the top. You can feel it snap in and then checking down the hole you make sure that that's aligned and taking one of these pins simply goes through the hole snaps in place easy peasy repeat the other side that snaps in like that and then there's a cotter pin that fits down the other side I'm going to go ahead and finish the other side and come back to camera. Okay, so I have both bristles attached to the power pole. And uh, the last final step is attaching the cotter pin to lock the bristles in place. You can simply take the cotter pin, find the hole, and it just locks in place like that. Easy, no tools required. Last and final step is to attach the brush guard to the power pole. Okay, so I wanted to zoom in a little closer for this last and final few steps. The remaining hardware are this bracket, screw, and nut. You can see that on this bracket it has a small little notch that coincides with the screw on the shaft. Simply sliding that down in place, flipping it over, Alright, so here we go. One side of the bracket has a place for the nut and another place for the screw. They supply you an Allen wrench. There we are. It's all good to go. So now I'll go ahead and I'll take this out to the outside and we'll give her a spin. All right, well, what you see here, I'm not sure how well it's going to show up on the camera, but uh, you can see on the left is the area that I've already done, and on the right is uh, more of those needles that I've been trying to get removed. And uh, like I say, a brush, a broom, a rake, and blower, just those needles just kind of laughed at it. But uh, uh, after after doing most of the area, uh, brushing them into this back section here, 
is uh, these are the needles that uh, I'm kind of staging and piling up as I've done the rest of the turf here and uh, it puts a nice uh, nice show on there uh, I, I've had some traffic foot traffic on here you can see that how all the footprints are showing up but uh, this bristle brush is doing a fabulous job and uh, it's a nice way to to make it look really nice and uh, see the beauty of this turf on the right is the stuff that I've brushed and on the left is the stuff that I have yet to remove so all in all, I think this bristle brush is a fabulous solution for obnoxious needles like that and how hard they are to get rid of. I'm going to get a little closer to the turf so you can see more detail. I like to drag the brush a little bit versus pushing it. So I'm going to remove the guard and I'll show you more detail, even though the manual does not recommend this. All right, closing remarks and summary. This is the bristle brush from Milwaukee, product number 49-162741 with the additional pole saw that you can get as another item that fits that system. Uh, my final review is nine out of a 10. The only reason why I wouldn't give it a 10 is because it would be nice to have a directional switch where you can reverse the spin of the bristle. Uh, but this has multiple applications, dirt, rock, snow, and in my case, the needles that you can get out of turf, perfect solution for what I'm looking for. Once again, this is the Fuel Quick Lock System from Milwaukee. Uh, look in the description below where you can find this out of Ohio Tool, as well as additional information. Appreciate any comments and feedback. Thanks for watching.